Hi, my name is Eric Sloof from antipro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, configure a new vSphere 4.1 feature and it has to do with uh, the policy for load balancing on physical network cards. So first let's do a, a quick look around in the lab environment. What I did is I've created 10 virtual machines and 5 virtual machines are hosted on my ESXL uh, host and the other five are hosted on ESXR. Every virtual machine uh, has the Passmark uh, utility installed in it and all the machines are configured with a distributed port group uh, on a distributed switch and uh, it's called the DV port group. So everything is default. So let's take a look at the network configuration. Uh, when I'm going to my f networking icon in the vCenter server. This is the, the DV port group. Uh, here are the virtual machines. And I already mentioned five virtual machines are located on my L server and the other five virtual machines are located on the R server. So I have two hosts and every host has two physical network cards uh, connected to this distributed port group. So, um, when I'm going to the properties of this switch, you will see that there are two DV uplink ports and uh, every host has two physical network cards. The ESX4-R antipro.local server is the server we are going to use to uh, check out uh, the assignments of the physical NICs. So VMNIC1 and VMNIC2 will become very important to us. And if we are looking inside one of the ESX hosts, the R server and we are going to configuration networking you will see uh, a standard switch right here with some virtual machines uh, a distributed switch right, right here with some virtual machines uh, on it so the even virtual machines are talking to the uneven virtual machines uh, on the other host so virtual machine 2 is talking to virtual machine 1 virtual machine 4 is talking to virtual machine 3 until for virtual machine 10 that is talking to virtual machine uh, 9. So I already mentioned two DV uplink ports and VMNIC 1 and VMNIC 2 are going to be very important. So this is the setup. Um, we are going to look at the configuration of the teaming policy for the distributed port group. So when I'm going to the port group and I'm going to edit the settings of this port group, you will find an entry right here, teaming and fill over. And the default setting is route based on port ID. So route based on port ID means when I'm hopping over to uh, to PuTTY, I've uh, created a, a PuTTY session, I'm running ESX stop and the great thing about ESX stop is when you are going to the network view you can actually see your virtual machines and you will also see to which physical, uh, which physical network adapter they are connected. So when you are going to uh, do routing based on port ID the virtual machine is connected to one of your ports on the distributed uh, switch and then automatically is uh, assigned to one of the physical network cards. So this is very static, it, this never changes. Uh, and if, for instance, virtual machine 2, 4 and 10 are generating a lot of traffic, uh, VMNIC 1 will not be used and VMNIC 2 will be exhausted. So there are other routing policies, there are other uh, load balancing methods. I can also do it on IP hash. Uh, you have to keep in mind if you are going to do balancing with IP hash uh, that uh, all the network cards will be used. You see automatically jump the setting to all and you have to create an ether channel uh, because the MAC address of the virtual machine can uh, communicate through both physical NICs and there is also a policy called uh, source MAC address. So with the source MAC address, a hash is created and the hash will result in uh, VMNIC1 or VMNIC2. So this is also very static and the amount of traffic is not measured. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just connected to one of those physical NICs and it will stay there. Uh, as long as it's powered on. So um, there is a new setting, a new vSphere 4.1 setting. It's only available on a distributed switch and 
when you are going to look at the route based on physical NIC load, the virtual machines are initially uh, assigned to one of the physical network cards. So what you see right here is 22112. But uh, every 30 seconds, uh, your virtual center server will measure the amount of traffic or your kernel will measure the amount of traffic that flows through the physical network cards. And based on the amount of traffic, uh, the virtual machine can jump over to another physical network card. So let's try this one out. In this case, we are we have a situation where virtual machine 2, 4 and 10 are using the same physical network card, 2, 2, 2. So 2, 4 and 10 must be accessed and generate some traffic. So let's first go to virtual machine 2. So I already installed the Pulsmark utility. What I did is that I switched to UDP traffic because I'm able to create much bigger amounts of network traffic with UDP. I'm putting in a fixed block size uh, of 1000 bytes and the test duration is 40 seconds. So uh, let's check on the virtual machine numbers again, 2, 4 and 10. So let's start with virtual machine 2. This is the VM client. The VM client is completely vSphere 4.1 compatible and I'm using it for as accessing the, the consoles of the virtual machines. So go 2, go 4. Okay. Go four and go ten. Okay. So let's quickly switch over to this guy. You already see the amount of traffic growing. So virtual machine four and virtual machine two are already generating a lot of traffic. Uh, virtual Machine 10 is also starting and what you immediately see is that Virtual Machine 4 is now connected to VMNIC 1 instead of uh, VMNIC 2. So this Virtual Machine automatically is assigned to another physical network card. The duration of the 30 second seconds is ending now and you see that uh, this Virtual Machine 10 is also connected to VMNIC 1. So uh, we have four virtual machines connected to VMNIC 1 right now and only one virtual machine connected to VMNIC 2. So let's do another test. Let's pick 4, 6, 8 and 10. So virtual machine 4. Go. Virtual machine 6. Hmm. Go, virtual machine 8, go, and virtual machine 10, go. So let's hop over to uh, ESX top and see what's happening. So VMDIC 1 is completely maxed out, there's a lot of traffic. Uh, going over VMNIC 1 and what you see right here that is that virtual machine 6 is already switched to VMNIC 2 and maybe another virtual machine will also switch to VMNIC 2 but VMNIC 1 will hold so the amount of traffic uh, at, at 75% uh, there is a switch decision and every 30 seconds uh, the, the, the decision is measured so in this case it's it's going okay. So this was my quick little test based on ESX top with the network view, uh, my VM client which is able to access all the consoles of all the virtual machines and of course vSphere 4.1 based on vCenter 4.1 with two ESX 4.1 servers and let's do a quick look inside uh, the amount of traffic that was generated on my ESX R host. Um, Okay, uh, performance, network, and we did VMNIC 1 and VMNIC 2, so VMNIC 1 is right here, it's not very heavy used, VMNIC 2, you see some 
very high peaks until 8,000, 80,000 kilobits per second. So this is uh, the proof that uh, routing based on the policy that the actual amount of traffic is deciding on which uh, physical network card or virtual machine is connected is used as uh, a routing policy. So this was another great demo. Thank you. Bye-bye. Eric Sloof is signing off.